Hey guys, today we are in Audi Q3. This is uh, 2012, the first generation before facelift. And this vehicle is with manual transmission. And today I'm going to replace this standard electronic parking brake button with a version uh, with the auto, auto hold feature. Well, this, uh, if I'm not wrong, was equipped in vehicles with automatic transmission, but well, the feature will still work here with manual transmission if we install the right button and change the coding. So we need this assembly, we need a flat screwdriver or a hook or something else that will help us remove this piece and we need a diagnostic interface like OBD11 or VCDS or anything else that will be able to change the coding in one of the units of this vehicle. So first thing that we need to do is to remove this uh, piece. Uh, it's uh, lock it locks over here on this side i actually have it removed right now and i can show you how it's uh, how it's installed you can see that it slides in over here so you need to pry it from this side and you need to do this uh, with this small flap open and once it's open i'm not sure if you can see there's a little hole over here which you should use to pry to pry this locking mechanism over here. So basically with this open you should put a screwdriver or something over here. It will go through. It will hit this mechanism and you should be able to pry it a little bit this will allow those hook to move and with those move you can pull over here of course be gentle not to break anything those are fragile plastics so well there's always a risk and once this pops out you can just slide out the rest okay so we are going to uh, remove uh, this connector there's a clip that you need to press over here there's a lock and with this pressed you should be able to slide it out or break it <laughs> as I did okay this one is out right now we can remove this assembly it goes upwards but there's a lock over here So apply slight tension over here and unlock it, lock over here, lock over here and with those three unlocked you can remove the old button. Now let's install the new button with the additional, uh, additional auto hold feature. It should just click in place, hopefully. Clicked here, clicked here, clicked here. Now let's connect the wiring. Okay. And I believe right now, if we turn on the ignition, we will have um, parking brake fault. Okay, so maybe let's install it over here. Like so. Let's press it in place. And let's turn on the ignition. Okay, so actually there's no fault over here but this button does not work just yet so still we need to perform some coding so let's connect with obd11 to the vehicle and let's change the coding so the vehicle knows that we have a new button with new feature okay so we are connected with the vehicle so right now let's use the um, right lower side button to list all the modules let's scroll down to module 53 which is the parking brake module and over here we are going to coding 
and we have this coding string 0025166 and beneath we have a description uh, about all the uh, functions that are coded into this uh, string of um, numbers. So basically the last digit is the auto hold feature. If it's set to 6 it means that the auto hold is not installed and we want it to change to be changed to 7 to install. So we are going to press over here and write in the value with the last digit changed. So instead of the 6 at the end we are uh, typing in the 7. Done, write and I believe it was sent to the control unit. Right now we can go back, we can go to faults. There are two faults but uh, since the green indicator on the left um, is present we know that those faults are old, um, most likely caused by the uh, by the button replacement. Yeah, for a second over there there was no button and, uh, and since uh, the parking brake uh, is a essential feature of this vehicle it was monitoring um, if the button is present even though the uh, ignition was off so we can clear those uh, faults and parking brake module should be fault free. We can disconnect from the vehicle and end the diagnostic session. So right now we can just check if the feature works. Couple days later and we are going to check if it actually works. Engine on, doors closed, I have my seat belts and the parking brake is engaged and the auto brake is also enabled. First thing that we want to check if it's going to release the brake when I start to move. It, it should do this automatically. We can see that the parking brake indicator is on and as soon as I start to move the vehicle it will um, disappear over here. Second thing that we want to check if the auto hold feature works. Uh, so right now I'm in neutral. The parking brake is released but the auto hold feature is working. We are not moving backwards and there's a slight steepness over here and if the feature is not working we should be moving backwards. So maybe let's release it just to prove my point that the vehicle is moving backwards if the feature is not working. Okay, another thing, uh, if it's going to automatically engage the parking brake if I open the door Yep, parking brake is on and let's release it and if I remove my seat belt it should also do the same thing. Yep, it's preparing the vehicle for the driver to, uh, to exit. So I believe it worked. Thank you for watching, hope this helped you and see you soon.